Oh, right. I don't look anything like my thumbnail. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hey, can you show me the... Yeah. Better? Hey, peeps. How are you doing? As well as can be? Mm, yeah. For me, too. So about that photo that I posted on my Instagram stories a while back which made you all go crazy in my DMs I have good news and I have bad news Which one do you want first? Hmm. Well, let's give you the good news first since it answers the main question of what is in this envelope? Or rather, what was in this envelope? In this envelope were documents from my school so that I can reapply for a visa at my local embassy to go move and study in Japan in April of 2020. So even though things are still unsure and as we've seen, things can change in the blink of an eye but now that the borders are reopened in Japan to uh, foreign students I can finally, finally resume my project to move to Japan and I'm very excited I don't want to trust it uh, but I'm definitely seeing a ray of hope I could move right now actually but with the way things are around the world and for my own health and my own stress levels I've decided to uh, keep with my original plan of moving next year like one year after my initial departure date uh, that way I can replan everything and not just like have to leave in a rush in a blink of an eye and just jump on a plane and just be unprepared I have very much the need to plan and know where I'm going <laughs> to stay calm and I think that's very important and also this is kind of a once, well probably once in a lifetime project for me so I want to do things right so yay! I see the light at the end of the tunnel I think, I hope, fingers crossed, all my fingers are crossed, my crows, my, my, crows, my toes are <laughs> crossed and that is uh, part of my good news actually that is the main good news that is the good news but I do have a kind of partial good news which is uh, related to what I was just talking about it's my health that is getting better I am feeling much better thank goodness and I'm grateful for you all your best wishes and encouragements and sharing your own stories with me I very much appreciate it uh, but yeah one of the other reasons why I'm not leaving right now right this second is that that I am still taking a bunch of treatments much less than before I'm slowly coming off a bunch of them but my main treatment is um, kind of long and I want to be sure that I see it through and that I can remain with my own doctor uh, through the treatment and not go to a foreign country where I can't explain what's going on with me in that language and uh, risk feeling poorly again abroad uh, again I'm very keen on having like the best experience possible so I want to feel good I want to finish all my treatments and feel as good as can be like get the green light like okay you're good to travel by yourself without a support system um, and I want I want to do things right you know um, if it does come through like I said like I'm very hopeful for April 2021 but also like I had my hopes up for April 2020 and it like completely fell through and I was gutted so I'm kind of being cautiously optimistic if you know what I mean but yeah that is a whole bunch of good news I am going to move on to the not so good news which is very 2020-esque I mean does this year ever come to an end? I know I'm definitely not the only one in the situation even like friends and family they're in the same situation uh, we're all struggling but this is like kind of the nail on the coffin for me it's like oh come on give me a break so very very 2020-esque news um, as a lot of you know already 
I quit my day job when I was going to move originally to Japan in earlier this year in April so I quit my day job and then obviously the plans fell through and with the pandemic I wasn't able to go back to work since it was working in events and international events like international conferences so obviously those were out of the question so I applied for benefits which I have I still have benefits thank goodness um, and I applied for a freelance translation job like where I was translating uh, online articles from English to French and I got that job too and it was a godsend it helped me save a little bit every month for moving abroad and also it definitely definitely helped me make ends meet because benefits alone really didn't cut it especially now that I have a whole bunch of medical appointments so medical bills and having to take better care of my health aka no more skipping meals to try and save a buck guilty i talk all about it in my health update video so sadly and quite frustratingly i have been informed at the beginning of the month that this company for whom i had been working for translation work will no longer be uh, hiring freelancers because of like a business decision they want to do all their work internally and this could not come at a worst time because as i've mentioned that job kept me afloat here in brussels but it was also a job that i was going to be able to continue once i was in japan to actually help with living expenses and so on so for the past few weeks i have been in a total frenzy asking myself okay what should i do what should i be doing is there a solution is there a plan have where can i find something to keep me afloat and honestly right now i still don't know so Right now I'm in survival mode, which I kind of don't mind. I mean, it sucks, but I don't mind because I'm used to it. I'm used to having to be careful and, you know, like budgeting my month and seeing where the money's gonna come in and everything, even though it's kind of really hard as a freelancer to do that, especially at the moment, clearly. But also I'm at a point right now where I'm already starting to dip into my savings which is not something I want to do and it's also not a state of mind that I want to bring with me to Japan like my big life life project I'm hoping that there will be more life projects but right now it's my big life projects and I don't want to be in survival mode in Japan I want to have fun and explore and have opportunities and like go on a really big adventure because that's what it is I don't want to be stuck pinching pennies and counting everything and having to stay uh, indoors because I can't go out with like new friends I might have made at school or things like that so that's what I'm really worried about that is uh, like I mentioned at the beginning I want this to go as well as possible that's why I want to plan it that's why I want my health to be as best as can be but now I have this other aspect that is really worrying me because if you've seen the Japaniku 1.5 and I've experienced it, obviously, going abroad with insufficient funds I mean, it's doable on a holiday even though it like drained me of my energy but I don't, I don't want to move and be in that state I don't know if I'm making sense as usual, I'm off in a flurry of hand movements and rambles but um, I don't have an official solution to that right now, but I am doing my best. I'm not giving up. I'm still optimistic. I'm very determined to make this work and very driven. Uh, my Patreon page is running very smoothly at the moment and I'm very happy and very grateful for that. Thank you so, so much, guys. Very glad that this is something that can help me out i'm obviously keeping my stores up to date and adding new merch every now and then so these are the little solutions i found at the moment in the meantime and i'm hoping something else will fall through maybe they will decide that they need freelancers after all and i'll call i'll be called back and yay everything will be fine but yeah, right now I'm very worried because I still have a lot of doctor's appointments and I still have to get more treatments and I still have to put a lot aside, like I have an end goal like calculated I have an end goal that I want to reach so that I can go abroad 
to live and study but also have a friggin' adventure right so enough of me of my worrying remember the good news guys that's why i'm like thinking about myself we are going to japan technically if things finally align we are going next year i'm so looking forward to it let's all cross our fingers all our fingers our toes and pray that nothing of bad happens like rona wise or anything wise at this point i i don't know what to expect but i'm like Okay guys, that's all for the update. I hope that made sense. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments for me down below. I uh, hope we get to plan this trip to Japan together. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you're well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I L word you all. And don't click off right yet because we have a Patreon shout out challenge coming up right after this. Hey guys, finally getting around to doing the October YouTube Patreon shout out. So welcome to my gym. Welcome to the elliptical. Welcome to my very tired face. It's 7 a.m. The gym just opened. <laughs> and um, I'm expecting that this isn't what you were hoping to see me at the beginning of my workout shouting out your names. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted <laughs> because of the music. <laughs> 15 minutes later. <laughs> So I got about four minutes left to my workout. Well, not to my workout, to my warm up. Okay, here we go. Got my paper. How am I gonna do this? This isn't easy, as easy as I thought. Okay, so a great big thank you to my patrons for this month of October. Thank you to Deepa Kedev, Natalie Priddle, Mary Lou, Jake Heron, Fuka. Richard Fujinami, Kenji Swift, Shay, Aqua Walter, Double Khan, and Nanu. Thank you all so much. Very, very grateful. <laughs>